It's a state-of-the-art technology. It's the first time in the world that these scanners have been put in a suite that's dedicated to taking research findings and putting them immediately into clinical care. And one of the reasons why we're really excited is that these kind of scanners allow us to look at disease in a different way to what we have been doing traditionally. Traditionally, we've been looking at uh, the way uh, structures appear. In other words, the way the heart might look or the way the lungs might look or the way the brain looks. We're hoping to develop techniques to actually show us how these organs function and also how the blood flow goes to these organs. In other words, to pick up disease before we would otherwise detect it and to earlier detect how the response disease is with various treatments. And we think that this is going to make a fundamental change in uh, patient care and patient management. A patient with a possible heart condition would come, have the CT scan performed in one of these uh, machines. The image data then goes to a powerful computer and gets into a software program where we can turn the heart in three dimensions, turn it around 360 degrees. We can look at every single vessel, no matter how small, down to one millimeter in size, and look around the vessel and look in the heart vessel to see if there's any disease. When we look at the disease, we see if there's, a, if there's a little bit of disease or if there's a lot of disease. In other words, what is the implication for the blood flowing through that area? Does it look serious, serious enough to require intervention, or does it not look serious? We also look at the type of disease, in other words, plaque. Is it calcified plaque, meaning it's been there for a while and it's unlikely to change? Or is it non-calcified plaque, which there are certain types which can be quite worrisome for um, changing quite rapidly. So there's a number of things that we do. We look at the cardiac CT and say, is it normal? Is it abnormal? What's the degree of abnormality? And what's the likelihood that that particular patient may get in problems with their heart in a short period of time? And, if, and we do a comprehensive report which goes to a cardiologist. And the cardiologist will take that report and decide if that patient needs further investigation. So it's not uh, just looking at the images as they come off the machine. It's taking that image data, manipulating in various ways with advanced software and computing to get more information out to help the patient. Right now, uh, in, in many treatments we use, let's say for example cancer, is patients will receive chemotherapy and we may wait six weeks, eight weeks, or 12 weeks to repeat the CT scan and see if the various parts of disease have got bigger or smaller. Well, with some of the techniques we're developing here, we're looking at the blood flow to tissues. We know the blood flow to tissues is affected way, bef way earlier than uh, the size of a tissue. So we might be able to find in a week or maybe two weeks that a drug is working or not working. <clears throat> and that means that if it's working, you can encourage the patient to keep on with the drug. If it's not working, it gives us an opportunity to change the drug earlier to maybe to something that might work. That's just one example uh, of where this could really impact patient care.